Uh, hi again, everyone. So we are here with Jonathan Lewis, one of our speakers of the of the next uh, uh, virtual conference about uh, SQL optimization, Oracle SQL optimization in 2020. And that's about 10 years ago um, from last time we did the same kind of a conference. Um, hi, Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Nice to uh, talk to you. Yeah, and nice to get my laptop working like this for once. Yeah, nice to get my recording working. <laughs> so yeah, and the first question is that um, since we did this um, conference last time 10 years ago, so what was the most common Oracle technical question asked from you 10 years ago? And what is it now? And what are the answers? Well, <clears throat> I guess the, the, the sort of basic question for a lot of my work has always been, how do I make my SQL go faster? But I think uh, 10 years ago, the most specific question that I got asked most uh, frequently or was told to argue about most frequently was, why isn't my hint working? You know, why is Oracle ignoring my hints? Uh, and of course, the answer is you've probably done it wrong. You know, it's not ignoring your hints. It's probably doing what you told it, but you didn't tell it what you meant to tell it. Um, so in fact, that's quite funny. A couple of days ago, I discovered on my blog um, a little bragging note, which I put up after the 2019 Oracle Open World, um, because they had reported the scores that people had got for their presentations. And I was actually in the top 10. And the only people above me were people like uh, Larry Ellison, Kurian, uh, <laughs> and then the, all the, the big marketing uh, big shots. And I got in at about number seven with a presentation called How to Hint, right? So I, th I think that gives you some measure of people really wanted to know all about hinting 10 years ago. <clears throat> um, the thing which I get by comparison nowadays uh, is I think in a way much more sophisticated because I think the commonest uh, type of question is along the lines of how do I physically restructure my database? Uh, now, sometimes it's just uh, what indexes should I create? Um, and sometimes which indexes should I drop? But that's less common. Um, can I do something by creating partitions? Should I make this table into an IoT? So there's, uh, I think, a lot more intelligent focus on physically what's happening inside the database and how you can engineer the physical uh, structure of what you've got in order to make your, your SQL more efficient to operate uh, with less overhead, less resource usage. So there's, it's, it's an interesting, from my perspective, it's a very interesting swing from I'm going to be fiddling around the edges and wondering what I can do to is there basically a design strategy which I could employ to make things better. Yeah, that's that's yep. a good um yeah, that's an interesting change in the sense that uh, you know like uh, with hints uh, I mean I have a bad database design and my queries are bad is there a magical mm -hmm. hint which will make this faster versus now people knowing better that uh, um on average I guess that uh, uh, having a better database design would allow Oracle to do the better thing by itself. Yeah, yes. And I, I think the the uh, the other part and another part of that is that Oracle will choose bad plans because physically what you want it to do looks like a bad plan and therefore it goes off and finds some other way of, of getting the same result. If you do some re-engineering, uh, and, and some of the new things that you can do, of course, with, with the latest version of Oracle are extremely helpful in that respect. If you can do some re-engineering, you can then be in a position where Oracle can say, I've worked out how much data I have to pick up, but also I can see that I can pick that data up in an efficient way. Whereas historically it would be, yeah, I've sort of roughly, well, quite often I've got the numbers roughly right. Um, but I think your data is a complete mess and it's, it's scattered all over the place. So I'm not going to use the index which you think I should be using. Uh, and of course, it, it was right to take those sorts of decisions, but people didn't have the, uh, the awareness, I guess, or didn't feel it intuitively that that was why Oracle was trying to do something completely different. They didn't have this feeling that placement of data can be extremely important in terms of whether the optimizer thinks a particular plan is a good or bad idea. And that is changing, I think, quite a lot now. Yeah. Okay, and uh, the, the second last question is, uh, what are you gonna talk about at this virtual conference in April? And uh, some details, please. Yep, yep, sure. Um, well, it's all about execution plans. Uh, and it's, uh, it's actually a bit of a two-parter because I've got some uh, fairly ordinary PowerPoint slides uh, just to give a, a, a quick 
refresher, I hope. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that the, the people who show up won't want a, a detailed explanation of how to read a, a nested loop join. Um, so there'll be a, a sort of PowerPoint uh, quick refresher on a few key points and a, a few little areas in reading execution plans, just serial ones uh, for this, this event, but um, key points on how to interpret and the odd shapes that show up and, and uh, just basic rules of reading execution plans. Um, and then we'll push that to one side and I'll pull up uh, Prezi and get some full scale execution plans on screen and, and uh, sort of zoom around them saying, well, here's information like, here's something about numbers, here's something about the actual shape of the plan that we've got, uh, what's happening at which point, this bit of the plan you would have thought perhaps would appear up there. So taking genuine production size plans, I think the, the opening plan I've got is probably about a 70 line plan, and walking through it and saying, well, this is how you deal with this. When someone says, this thing takes 18 seconds, I want it to be less than a second. Why is it taking 18 seconds? How do you extract from 70 lines and, and you know, a 180 column uh, piece of text, the information that really points you in the right direction? So a nice sort of gentle, but sort of busy little starter on PowerPoint, and then uh, a bit of a deep dive into a watch closely, do the arithmetic with me and, and we'll we'll see how much we can pick out from a plan just by looking carefully at what's right in front of us yeah this sounds very interesting and i will be watching as well thank you very much ah, and see well, you in april uh, pleasure i hope i hope to make it fun you know I, i've had some uh, some entertainment uh, putting the this stuff together uh so the prezi stuff i think might be very helpful for dealing with plans and I think it might be uh, really quite entertaining and interesting. Okay. Sounds so good. See you, in, um, see you in about six weeks time, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very All much. the best.